the first contingent of the WAF arrives in India. It's a far cry from the Nissan huts of the Fens. There will be new jobs, new problems and new discomforts. But they'll cope. Yes, the WAF have arrived, and they're not exactly unwelcome. Too. Uh, it'll make a change having a few wee lassies around the place. I hope we'll get some in our station. Uh, it's a wee bit different from Sucky Hall Street, and it's no like much fog bound in the hedges. For one thing, the erks are a whole lot darker. It's as hard to push the Japs out of Burma as it is to push your cell out of Hamden Park after an international. But the lips are playing no wee part in the pushing. Sergeant? Yes, sir? Uh, have you ever thought what it would be like if we prang down there? Eh, uh, I wouldn't like it at all, sir. We'd have a long way to walk home. You know, uh, sir, I think I'd be awful scared. Yes, until you get to know it. The jungle does put the, uh, the wind up you. First thing to remember, is not to advertise yourself to the Japs. 
leaving a trail, for instance. Look at these chaps beating down the undergrowth left, right and centre. They sit down and have a spread. I'll say it's a spread, all over Burma. And P.O. Prune here, throwing away enough dead matches to start a timber yard. To find these chaps, all the Japs have to do is follow the wreckage. And this prune clot, he's got a compass all right, but with all the ironmongery he's carrying, the needle doesn't know whether it's six o'clock or, or wet and windy. And there he goes again, sitting down for a rest, right smack in the open where anybody can draw a bead on him. Uh, look, sir, how do you get the gen and all this? Well, you go on a course. A course? Oh, that's an awful bind. Actually, it's, it's very interesting. First, a Burmese gives you a few words and phrases of the language. Any one of these might be the means of saving your life. They give you the dope on the stuff in your escape kit. Water sterilizing tablets. Burning glass. Compass. And so on and so forth. Now here's a nice line in anti-mosquito hats. Well, whoever saw a bonnet wear blind on it. And then there's all the nasty little things you might come across. Spiders and uh, scorpions. And snakes too. Oh, here I'm going to be awful careful of yon fellas. Then the locals who've lived all their lives in the jungle, and they give you all kinds of useful tips. All the things you can make out of bamboo. Bamboo bows. With one of these and a pellet, you can, you can prang a bird at a hundred yards. Aye, but you've got to hit it first. And then there's bamboo snares to catch birds and animals. And bamboo rafts to cross rivers. Bamboo rope. It looks pretty strong too. Even bamboo stew pots. Although the water may be boiling, they never catch fire. But here, eh, what happens, sir, if you run out of bamboo? Well, when you run out of bamboo, well, you're out of the jungle. And after that, they give you some idea of what the Japs do with bamboo for our benefit. Take a poor view of that. This tin represents a bomb. Well, Sergeant, those are just some of the things you'll get on the course. And if you don't take it, well, anything can happen. Look, sir, can I go on this course tomorrow? On the 1st of January, the Mitchells were in action. That was not unusual. And the bombs went down on the enemy roads and supply routes. And that was not unusual. But on the way back, the crews received a message. Put down on another airfield. Do not return to base. That was unusual. And after landing, the crews stood around in the cold and said something must have gone wrong. 
and back at base, something had gone wrong. The hunted tiger had struck back with all his might. Luftwaffe had gathered together all the fighters it could muster and with them carried out surprise raids against the Allied airfields in Belgium and Holland. And the Luftwaffe had met with some success. But the Luftwaffe had to pay for their success and the price the Luftwaffe paid made it a very poor bargain indeed. Germans can't afford the loss of these aircraft. Neither can they afford the loss of the pilots. The Germans lost the battle of New Year's Day, but it was not for the want of daring and surprise. The lesson is clear. We cannot afford to relax. We cannot afford to underestimate the enemy. The tiger is cornered, but his claws are sharper than they've ever been before. 